Welcome one, welcome all back to more WWE 2K18 My Career Mode. And we are back on SmackDown Live here. And uh, before I go to the show and see the fallout, you know, after uh, Money in the Bank, I'm going to see, I'm going to talk to Charlotte here for a second. I want to see if she's got anything nice to say to me, you know, or I bet Renee is having a field day with your latest victory. What? Why would she have been able to feel that? I don't know. I mean, I guess... I could understand that because it took me freaking two hours, and that was not a fun episode. Let me tell you guys, that was a horrible, horrible episode. Recording that, man, it took me literally two hours to finish that and get the money in the bank because it's so hard when you're on the, you know, legendary and stuff. My gosh, that's not a, that was not a fun time at all. Vince called me to his office to talk one on one. Must have gone all right since you're still alive. In word, he's not happy about the fact, but you are Mr. Money in the Bank, and you need to be featured on the show. So go out there and do you. Uh, this is for my fans. The glory is shared tonight with my fans. And they'll cheer you on to let you know it. Go on now. Alright, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, scored 100 on this promo. Okay, it's going to probably be a little hard since it seems like when it's like uh, that low, it uh, it's hard to like pick the right thing or like get a good chain of combos going in the promo, but I'll do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get this promo. Let's nail this promo, baby. Uh, someone back there doesn't like me, I guess. Yeah. So unless you didn't know, somebody back there does not like me. That's why I kept getting screwed over repeatedly this month. All I wanted to do is focus on my matches, pin my hopes on the money in the bank, and leave it at that. But man, all this politic, child, pol political childishness I had to put behind me, I guess. I don't know. Um... Your support is the only thing that got me here. That's a good one. Yeah, it's only your support from the very beginning to now that got me here. I mean that. I never wanted to do this alone. Could I have? Maybe. But to me, it wouldn't mean anything to arrive at this moment in time and at this position in space by myself. That's too lonely of an Uh, maybe that? There are too many uh, variables in life. When I fight, when I win, I want to know beyond the shadow of a doubt that the match was clean and even. I don't want the other guy handicapped. I don't want the ref to call it on a technicality or subjective decision. I What I'm seeking is the most objective truth I can find at all times. Really, it was only knowing that I had backup that saved me. You guys are my eternal tag partners, but unlike a typical partner, you don't shoulder the burden for me. You don't let my rest me rest outside the ring while you go on to attack me. No, when you touch my shoulder, it gives me encouragement. Uh, that's nice, playing up to the fans. This is our joint victory. Yeah, that's a nice final word. I want to dedicate this success, this great success to you. This is our joint victory beginning to end i know we'll continue to build on this and ascend higher but for now for tonight i want to take a moment together with all of you so we can reflect on the hardships we've overcome to reach this new pinnacle together and soon i will be the wwe champion that's right god destroyed that promo baby getting 138 that's right the fans are the ones that are helping me. You guys are watching this video for me. I appreciate that very much. You're helping me. Go on and become the best WWE Superstar I can be in the best wrestler in the world. I already am, but I'm getting better every single day, even though I am at the top of the mountain. Yeah, if you are enjoying this video already, please leave a like. And, you know, remember to subscribe to the channel. And also, you know, share the video. You know, share it with your friends or whoever you want. Family, friends, cousins. Any, anybody, man. Share this to anybody, you know, if you are enjoying it and you want to get them to enjoy something, too. Get them entertainment. Share the video with them. And hopefully they can be entertained and enjoy it, you know? But, yeah, man, that was a great promo. I enjoyed that. And uh, a lot of the promos this year are going a lot better than last year. Uh, make more sense. Uh, I mean, it's not always easy to get, you know, combos and get them to make sense with each other in this one like it was last year. But, like, a lot of what you say seems to be more realistic, you know? in a way and it like it just makes more sense you know what you say it's not all garbage you know just random stuff like chicken cockle do the doing and all that garbage that was a sight to see enjoy the festivities phew son you may be mr money in the bank but you made some powerful enemies tonight uh i know what i'm doing hey i know what i'm doing here this isn't even a thing don't know about that. This will have ripple effects. Difficult to foresee. 
All things connected, my friend. Screwing over one person isn't something that happens in a vacuum. Who did I screw over? They have connections. So yeah, we'll see what happens. If anything, were I you, I'd brace myself in any event. Just in case you understand. We'll, well, see ya. Or we'll see ya, I guess. I don't understand, though. I didn't screw over anybody. I'm just speaking my mind. You know, I'm talking about the WWE Universe. I didn't say anything bad about Vince McMahon. Oh, well, I guess I did, technically, because I said someone in the back is holding me back. So I technically did. Uh, but that was never my intention. I want to see if Charlotte's got anything different to say. I'll just say the same thing. I'm having dinner with management later this week. We're discussing important issues to help the company grow. You should definitely come with me. Better yet, let me know if you have anything you want me to relay. Oh. I don't know. Well, I maybe I should tell her how Vince McMahon needs to trust me that I am the star. I am the future of this company. And you need to give me the freaking WWE Championship right now. But if he doesn't, that's fine. Because I got the money in the bank and I can cash in whenever I want. Whenever I see fit. I don't need, I don't need to wait. For the champion to be 100%. I don't need to wait for the champion. Like, I have to be like John Cena, you know, come out and declare like one week in advance. I can attack whatever I want. This whole month was against you, but you pulled out one. Kudos and stuff. Oh, thank you, Becky Lynch. I appreciate that very, very much. Man, these conversations are going nowhere for me. <laughs> None of these conversations are doing anything. I. Oh, and also, if you guys. Uh, leave a comment if you know how to have a tech team partner, because I have no idea how to do that still. Um. And uh, I, I looked up information on that, but I just haven't found it. So if you guys, so, uh, you know, please leave a comment about how you go about getting technical partner, because I really would love to know. All right, week two, here we are, here we go. And now, uh, hopefully they have a match this week, but I don't know, it could be another promo. But I don't mind, I mean, it makes the weeks go by faster and gets me to the pay-per-views faster. Uh, and then I hopefully I can... It'll give me a choice to cash in sometime soon. Because I, I really want to cash in and become the W champion, man. I want to be on top of the world. Okay? I don't need to get the U.S. And then maybe I can get two titles, actually. You know? After I get W championship, I can tackle the United States championship. Well, big night tonight. Take a look at the match card when you're ready. Okay, please. Just don't be a six-man tag. That's all I ask for. I don't want a six-man tag. I'll take, maybe I'll take a tag team match, but not a, um, you know, a... Um, a six-man tag. Oh, triple that. Okay. Oh, this is my my rival. I don't think he's my rival anymore. But man, Devin Rusev and Fondango. I don't know why Fondango is in there, but uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We'll add him to the mix, and uh, I will become. I will come out victorious in this triple threat match tonight. That features DC Devin Colbert, the Bulgarian brute Rusev, and Fondango. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And actually, you know, if you remember a few episodes back when we had a uh, battle royal for the first time on SmackDown Live, uh, Fandango was in that match, uh, and so was Rusev. And Rusev was the last guy that I threw out. So that's why we have been going back and forth for a few months. And then we finally had got to have our one-on-one -on -one match, which is cool. Uh, it was very long overdue, but we got to have it at Money in the Bank. I mean, because uh, we were supposed to have it at, I think it was Payback, but then they scratched that for some reason. And then he just, I hadn't, we hadn't crossed paths again until before Money in the Bank. And there he comes attacking me. But his flans were foiled when I destroyed him in that middle of the ring. Man, it was like a squash match. You kidding me? I ran through that man like in less than two minutes. Man, you kidding me? I'm better than Rusev. I don't need to be like, you know, brought down to his level or anyone else's level. Like Fondango. I belong at the top, baby. And that Money in the Bank contract proves it. It's a shame they don't let you walk out of it, though. It's a shame. I wish they had an entrance with the Money in the Bank briefcase. That'd be cool. And, uh, because, you know, they have a... Uh, hopefully they can do that in 2019, or maybe they can, you know, come up with a patch that does that, but... It'd be cool if you came out with your Money in the Bank briefcase, because, you know, you come out with titles and stuff, and just be a cool prop, you know, to have. Because it, it's like they do it in real life, so why can't you just add it to the game, you know? Come on, man. Come on, but you got... Bulgarian fruit Rusev, one half of Rusev Day. And also, you got one half of Brizango Fandango, the dancing man. Here he comes. One of the one half of the Fashion Police, I think is their name now. The Fashion Police. And man, they're getting destroyed by the uh, the um, Bludgeon Brothers this past few few weeks, you know? It kind of sucks for them. That, you know, they're they getting destroyed. But it's okay. Ah, oh, what? No, hit him, hit him! Oh, I don't know why I missed that. 
Alright. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's right. I thought he had me there for a second. But for some reason, he didn't let me hit for a second. But okay, I think we're good. I think we're good now. And, and I forgot that in uh, Triple Threats, I gotta be careful because you can roll out of the ring just like you can, you know, multi-man matches now that they implemented last year in the game. Oh, come on. Stop his lights out. Stop his lights out. I should just let them fight each other. Oh, no, no. The AA hit me with the AA. Oh, my goodness. Fandango throwing out John Cena's move early and quickly into this match. And now, oh, Rusev, for some reason, goes for a spinning heel kick, but he missed. Because he kicked that nobody. Oh my goodness. Oh, a neck breaker. I got to roll out the ring. Yeah, I'm going to roll out myself. I'm going to let these guys fight it out. That's right. I ain't, You ain't going to get me. I'm going to take my time, man. This is triple threat. I got to pick my moment. Got to pick my chance to shot. I got to pick when I want to win the match. That's a good thing about triple threats. You know, I could be out here taking a break while Fondongle and Rusev just beat each other up. Look at that. Oh, man. And Rusev getting the upper hand there and tossing. I'm not going to the ropes and look at this. Oh my goodness, a pop up knee to the gut. That's so not impressive, Rusev. That's so not impressive. All right, let me get Fandango here. Yeah, I got him. And the jawbreaker, baby. Oh, I missed that knee. Okay, well, I he's probably going to miss this because I'm going to attack Fandango here. Grab him. Yeah. Oh, come on. No, another AA. That's his, like, top. Reversal. There we go. I guess me and Rusev are working together right now. We're taking out Fandango, uh, the tallest man of the group. But I mean, he's not really the biggest threat because I am, of course. And oh, okay. Now it's just me and Rusev. Now we rekindle this rivalry, this small rivalry that's been going on for this this past month, starting back in June. You know. And oh, geez. oh my goodness, what a clothesline by Rusev. Okay, try to take my head off. All right, but you can't keep me down, Rusev. You might take me down, but you gotta keep me down. Look at that big uppercut. Oh, a big knee to finish it off and knocking him down. Wait, why did he roll out the ring? What? But why would he roll out the ring when when Fanaga was still out? What is this? That's garbage, and you know it. And then oh, look at that big shot right there. Look at that big right hand just knocking down Fandango. Yeah, that's right. Like I say, every match, ladies and gentlemen, I pack a punch. Oh, my goodness. How many times do you do that reversal, Fandango? Get some new moves, man. Stop doing the AA to me. That's right. Oh, I got some new moves for you. Got some. Oh, 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 shoot. I just wasted a reversal there. Hit him. Oh, look at that. Oh, got him. Got him with that spinning elbow. Are you kidding me, Rusev? Are you are you literally kidding me there? Oh, Jesus, got me. Oh, he got me. No. No, he stuck that in. Ow, he, he grazed my chest with the spinning heel kick. He got me. Ow, that's stupid, man. That's fine. No, he ain't going to win this match. Rusev ain't, will not win. If he does, that's bad for me. It looks bad for Mr. Money to make in my eyes. I mean, really, it's not that bad because I can cash in whenever I want and get a time match whenever I want, so I don't need to win matches. But I don't, I don't want to be going on a losing streak, man. I got to prove to people why I am Mr. Money in the Bank. Why? I am a title contender, and if I lose, that's showing that's showing that I just suck, you know? I want to be like that. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Another close. Are you kidding me, man? What is this? I had the upper hand. I got him. No freaking way. Oh, boy. He's going to set up that accolade. Ah, <laughs> yeah, baby. You ain't got nothing on me. We're step thick. Go oh, backbreak and fish off with the side Russian leg sweep. Look at that. That's it. That's it for Rusev. 99 for Rusev. Hit him. One. Oh, come on. One count, ref. You kidding me? I should have been at least down for two. Come on now. That side rushing leg sweep was legit. Oh, oh my gosh. What is Fandango doing? I'm trying to take out the biggest, the biggest man in the match. Get out of here, Fandango. My God, I got no bees with you right now. Oh shoot. Oh, oh. What kind of a signature is this? A side rushing leg sweep? You kidding me? That's that is pathetic. I think he's going to try to throw Rusev out of the ring here. Or I guess attack Rusev. But you have me, so you should have gone for the pin. Man. Uh, you got a veteran in Fandango, and he's just making a veteran... Or he's making a mistake, not a veteran mistake. Oh, now he goes for the pin. I have time to recover, but... You know, and I... It's going to be harder to pin me with the... I don't know. He can do whatever he wants. He can make all the dumb mistakes he wants. That's fine. And I was still saying this match, but he's attacking my head. Oh, no, he's looking for that leg drop. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, no, no. I got to move. I got to move. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? No way. No. No freaking way. You're kidding. Oh, kick down. Yes. Oh, my goodness. There's no way I got that reversal, man. I reversed that leg drop. 
my goodness, and he shifted in midair. That was impressive by Fandango, man, the way he could torque his body and got that leg drop to fall. That was pretty impressive, actually. I can't, I can't lie about that. All right. Now, I'm back on the attack here. Break down! That's right, take down Fandango. Get out of the ring. Now, it's me and Rusev. We're back to fighting. Here we go. I think I can finish this match really quickly here. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Set him up right there. Right in this one. Yes! He's in perfect position. Prime position here. Here it comes. Here it comes to finish him off. Hit him with the five star frog splash, baby. That's it. That's it for Rusev. Nighty night to Rusev. Hurry up, hurry up, ref. One, two, three. That's right. That's right. The, your winner, Mr. Money in the Bank, DC Devin Goldberg. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's right, Mr. Money in the Bank. They can't beat me. That's right. They think they're going to stack the odds against me in triple threat where I have a 33% chance of winning. Uh-uh. Not going to happen. I still come out with the victory. Look at that. All right, hopefully Tom Mullen has some nice things to say about my performance tonight because I think it was pretty good. All right, here we go. Yeah, Mr. Tom Mullen. Seems impressed. I hope he, he should be, you know, beating Fandong and Rusev. I mean... They're not really big names, but hey, you know, getting win over two people and triple threat, that's pretty good. Wow, you're trying to steal the show tonight? Great work. Oh, thank you, Todd. I appreciate that. Dave, that's the only thing you have to say to me. I appreciate that, man. Means uh, I, I try. That's my goal every single week is to steal the show. Be the best match on the card no matter where I'm placed. That's my goal. And I think we did just that in that fantastic, or well, I wouldn't say fantastic, great triple threat match. I, I definitely put my weight, I think, in that match. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, remember to subscribe for more content just like this. And also, you know, don't forget to share the video with all your friends and family and whoever you want to share it with to help them be entertained as well. And also, remember to hit that bell icon that we always be notified when my videos come out and you never miss any of the action. And also, uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter at dswerf11. And uh, thanks again for all the support. Appreciate it very, very much. And I hope you guys are still enjoying my Karumo because I am. And uh, and that's what it's all about, you know, bringing enjoyment to you guys. So hopefully you're still enjoying it. And also don't forget to comment how you form a tag team partner or tag team. I really would love to know. And I'll see you all on the next one.